which will end the over. That's a good over by Jaden Seals. Five gone, 41 for two. Forty-one for two, five overs gone. A crucial wicket, that one. My ball, yeah. He's continuing to try and get down the track to Tikshana. Not working out for him so far. Ah! That's Fuller. Appeal, and it's given. Was that sneaking down the leg side? Will Hafiz review, he has the opportunity. Conversation with Ben Dunk, who's just come to the crease. He's got a big good job here, and they are going upstairs. Give your party director. We have a player review for LBW. Don't feel this and he's out. Can you start with the front on? To the front foot, uh, no ball, please. <laughs> okay, it's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Front on spin vision coming up. Okay. Yeah, you uh, cannot tell from that. Uh, you need to control the direction of the back. Give me all threads, please. Altrace coming up. Okay, roll it. Up to the pads. Confirm it's a flat line in the ball passes the bat. Confirm no bat involved. Give me ball tracking when it's ready, please. I'll let you know when it's ready. Stand by uh, Ruchi, ready for ball tracking. Still waiting for ball tracking, Ruji. Stand by. Ball tracking coming up. Original edition is out. Pitching in line. Impact umpires call. And wickets missing. Ruji, the stats, I recommend that you change it's... your decision. It looked much closer than that. You know, Ruji you know, can't believe it. You're on screen now. You can make a decision. Uh, his facial expression tells a story. Thanks, Iman. Review retained. The Golf Gladiators thought uh, Ben Dung from the non-strikers end played a huge role in uh, convincing Mohamed Afis to... Captain Barnaka Rajapaksa comes to the crease. The second batsman there who hasn't faced a delivery. All of a sudden, this is turning out to be a very good power play for the champions, Jaffna. Three balls still to go. And Dunk will face the mystery spin of Tikshana. Been watching at the other end. All the drama has been unfolding.
Yeah, he's looking for wickets here. Another look. Mohamed Hafiz looking to clear that long on fieldsman and eventually holding out. That was a wasted opportunity. Well, the gladiators will be disappointed. Down the left side, Mahesh Tikshan at this time will pull Taranga from short, fine leg in pursuit. Cutting off his couple of runs. Uh, Mohamed Hafiz, I just thought, was premeditated. He's down the wicket even before Mahesh Tikshan delivered the ball. Look at that. And wasn't pitch of the ball. Mahesh Tikshan seeing him coming down, pitching it shorter. Hence, not get the elevation. Easy catch, Abhishek Fernando. And he's a difficult bowler to get down to as well, isn't he? Because of the pace that he bowls at. Hafiz seemed intent to do that right from the start of his innings. Last ball of the power play. Turn for Tikshana. Genuine off break. That'll get them thinking. 43 for three. That would have made all the spinners in both the teams. Pretty happy. Look at that. Turn, bounce. It's good stuff by the young man bowling in the power play. Also the pace he bowled. He was going at 93. Now that's quite sharp for a spinner. Really it went quickly. Well, that's a, that's a very good return for the Jaffna Kings. 43 for three. We've got some big wickets here. Damasena signals for the end of the power play, which means the field can now spread. It also means the fielding side now have the option of taking a timeout between now and the end of the ninth over. Batting side will be able to take their timeout from the end of the 13th over to the end of the 16th. Pace of Jaden Seals to continue. He's already picked up one wicket. Well, quick single. Pretty comfortable in the end. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Faraz, Red Bull, CBL Munchie, Dialogue, NLB, Multilac, Emerging Media, Detol, Cycle Pure Agabati. Payan Steel, Mac Tiles, and AIA Insurance. Appreciate all of your help. And I'm glad I managed to get all of those in before the next ball. Good hard length at the moment, Seals. I thought quite a surprise as well, Matt, that didn't, Seals didn't take the new ball. I would have thought with Danush Guntalaka and uh, Kam, uh, Kusal Mendis has not played any competitive cricket for a while. They'd be rusty. But the pace of Jaden Steels could uh, put the troubles in. But still saying that, Jaffna Kings would have had their plans. And so far, everything has gone to the plan. He's rushed the batsman once again there. No timing from Ben Dunk. Picks up a single. Well, the power play was mixed. I thought for a moment the gladiators were running away with it. But then the Kings came back quite strongly. Danushka Gunatilaka, outstanding catch by the captain running back. Never easy when it falls over one's shoulder. Kusal Mendes. Mohamed Hafiz. And then this was Kusal Mendes, completely done by that extra bit of bounce. Good catch by the keeper. And then the Mohamed Hafiz has turned, premeditated, caught in the deep. Oh, slower ball bouncer there, I think. Completely deceived, Roger Paksa. Good bit of bowling. 121 Ks. Another look, this is Mohamed Hafiz. That's the premeditation. He was looking to come down the pitch, he was looking to go over the top. Tikshan was good. His length was perfect, dragged it down, fired it in. 
and Hafiz just couldn't get there. Brilliant uh, piece of bowling by the young off spinner. Manu Rajapaksha. Most likely be tested by Jaden Seals with deep square leg, fine leg, and long on. Saving the boundary. Quick shot. In the gap, or the bit could have failed in there. And that's just definitely saved too. Definitely, the two umpires will have a chat to the third umpire. Rajapaksa is very strong off his pads. Anything, anything on his pads, he will go strong. His wrists are pretty strong. And there you are, just working it. And just those strong wrists. I've seen him flick those for sixers. Good work, as you said. Excellent work in the deep. Definitely saved two. On Cola Cadmore out there, TKC. That's going to be his name, I think, during franchise tournaments. <laughs> Might be two here for Kushtar. Just the one, though, in the end. Big boundaries here at the Prima Nasa, so there are opportunities for twos. 48 for three. Three over so far for Tikshana, 11 dots in there. Economy 4.67, excellent start by him. Lucknow was expensive in his one over, did pick up a wicket though. Well, hard disappointing, his first over went for 13. And Jaden Seals has been impressive, two overs, one for nine. Still no Hasaranga yet. The plan for Hasaranga is to bowl in the second half of the innings. Yep. This is Shamwashan. Also a bit of off spin. Another player who's come through the under-19 ranks. A player that the Sri Lankans had a lot of hope on and hope that he would go on and make it big. Can come. Can get Mahesh you spoke about him. He's a very interesting uh, addition to this side because he was a supplementary player last year with the Jaffna team. A tactical move by Jaffna King skipper Tisara Pereira bringing in Samoa Shan's uh, part time off spin. The two left handers uh, in Ben Dunk and Barnaburaja Paksha. Just the one on this occasion. Ashan does well to get out to that delivery. Go back to that battle between Tikshana and Hafiz. Really was keen to get down the track. Second delivery, almost LBW. And then that third delivery, big spin on that one, 2.1 degrees. And that was what did for the experienced Pakistani. Hit him very high up on the bat. No timing whatsoever. Shot. Ben Dunk. Powerful sweep, good bit of fielding by Mahesh Tikshana. Bowled well, fielded well, was injured during the T20 World Cup, but injury didn't keep him much away. And look at that piece of fielding. I think I need to correct myself. Brilliant fielding, Tikshana. He was not a supplementary player, but he was identified by Tisar Pereira and specifically picked for the first edition. Look where he is, Matt. He is now in Sri Lankan colours, bowling in the power plays, and it's retained by Jaffna. So this is all about... This is exactly what Sri Lanka needs to achieve with a tournament like this. Identify young players. Hard sweep again by Ben Dunk, this time finer. But once again, straight to Tikshana. So just a single for him. Just 14 runs off the last 22 balls. Just getting stuck in a bit of a rut boys, here boys, with all gladiators boys. after a promising start. Still a lot of betting to come for golf gladiators. Samit Patel, Lair Madhusanka. Surudana. Good shot by Banu Rajapaksha. Hammered it. The score point for a single. Eight done. 53 for three.
Lovely shot from our drone there. You can see the full size of this Primadas uh, playing surface. If the Gladiators go at eight runs and over from here, they'll get up to 149. If they go at 10 and over, 173, which is what Russell Arnold thought would be around about the par score at the pitch report. All right, we're going to see the captain, Tisara Pereira. Retired from international colours, but very active in leagues. And he is a big draw here. Wherever he plays, he's a striker, someone who can use the long handle, who can hit the long ball. A powerful striker of the ball, lots of experience. 298 games. Oh, that's a miscue. Complete miscue from Roger Paksa. I think he was very early on that shot. Lucky he didn't go straight up in the air, really. Van Rajaksha would be liking to the space. Jaden Sears was much quicker, did trouble him, did make him quick, flake. Very quick, and Tisara Pereira hovering around 120, 125 straight away. Off the edge of the arm, lucky not carrying to the car point fielder. Down the track goes Dunk, miscue, but he's just cleared the man at mid off. And that might even get to the boundary, it does. Slide by Lucknow can't prevent a boundary, so that's the first boundary in a while. Yeah, mid off inside the 30 yard circle and just hitting it on the up. Good use of the feet by Dunk. And just clearing mid off. Great effort by Lakma, really good commitment. First boundary is the end of the fourth over. It's well timed by Dunk, he'll pick up two here. Ikshana gets round. Ben Dunk, timing the ball ever since he came in, looks like he had a long net session before the this game. Someone that Gaul Gladys have picked up, have done really well in PSL, in Big Bash. I'm pretty sure with the tournament going to the deep end experience of Ben Dunk and Mohamed Office will be very very handy oh, big heave there on Gainley against the direction of the ball well Ben Dunk actually hasn't played since the PSL in June so we talk about Guna Telaka and Kusal Mendes and Dick Weller not playing since June well I'm sure Ben Dunk feels equally rusty this is going to be an important time, important phase in this game because Banuka Rajapaksa and Dunk are the type of players that can take the game away from you. They can punish you. Rajapaksa in particular is a punishing player. And getting deep in his crease there, Dunk. He is used to batting in the middle order now. He started his career as a pure opener for the Hobart Hurricanes in the Big Bash League, really burst onto the scene for Hobart. He was the top run scorer in the Big Bash in the 2013-14 season. Nowadays, very happy to come in at number four or five. Oh, well, that's a hard pull by Raja Paksa, long boundary, but he has cleared it comfortably. What a shot. I told you, he is a punishing player. At that pace, Rajapaksa will enjoy it. That was easy. Over square leg for six. Banuka Rajapaksa, well, announcing himself, and that is the strategic timeout.
तो जिस पे बहन तुम्हारे वीडियो अवेलेबल की मशीन चैनल पर सुनने को मिलेगी Sixty-seven for three. Nine overs gone. Fourteen taken off the previous over. Very welcome runs, the Gold Gladiators, because the number one T20 bowler at the moment has got four overs left, and he's on to bowl now. Let's have a look at how the wickets have fallen then. Mr. Vinatilaka, in his first game back in six months, a couple of fours in his first three balls, and then that happened. His fourth delivery, straight up in the air. Similar end, Kusam Mendes beating the pace by Jaden Seals. Good catch by Ramanullah Gurbaz. Good battle between Tikshana and Mohammad Hafiz. Tikshana won it. And yet Hafiz losing patience. And that ball turned a little bit, caught the inside of the bat. Since then. Partial recovery between Dunk and Raja Paksa. They've put on 26 so far. And now they have to deal with the main man as far as Jaffna are concerned. Starts with a googly. At the moment, this is the big moment because Sri Lanka and now even the Jaffna Kings seem to have a plan with the Vanidu Hasaranga and that is to use him in the second half of the innings. He really doesn't come on in the first 10 overs, but he's very good in this, this part. But he's a wicket-taking bowler. He's someone who's very accurate and he's got a lot of wickets. And that's how he stifles the rate of scoring. And he's earned his stripes with the way he's achieved at the international level. Shot hammered. Bisecting that gap at Deep Skolik and mid-wicket. It's a good start by Banu Rajapaksha, just like Vanindu Hasaranga in T10 cricket in Abu Dhabi, was in superb form, countering his good work. 
Rajapaksa is the type of player who can hurt you. He can hurt you. And the Jaffna Kings will have to be very watchful with Banuka Rajapaksa. He can take this game away from them. Such a striker of the ball. Again, another googly. Quick single. Well run in the end. What 48 hours for one of the Played a T10 game yesterday for Deccan Gladiators. Champions flies over this morning to Sri Lanka. Turns out for his new franchise. What fantastic professional. Get it! Oh, playing like he is at the moment. I think I want to play as many games as possible. Player of the series in the Abu Dhabi T10. Top wicket taker in the World Cup. Well, that was actually in the air, wasn't it? Wasn't too far away. Just got a fingertip to it, Hasaranga. He's enjoying the moment. He's in big demand, so why not? He's doing the right thing. He's strong, he's young, he's vigorous. He's dragged that one down, though. No timing at all from Roger Paksa. That's the tricky thing with Hasarang is he's so skiddy, isn't he? And also, to get Samit Patel, who's coming due to come next. Remember, right, got him a couple of times in the last season. And then we've got Isuru Dana. And Lairu Madhusanko has that a... time. It's gone over, cover. Good shot, that, by Ben Dunk. Waited patiently. He's going to finish the over with a two. So we're halfway through the innings. The Gore Gladiators, 77 for three. This is my wallet before, and this is my rich wallet. It's smaller, lighter, and a lot more convenient than my old leather wallet. And helps me get rid of all the junk that I've collected over the years. The Ridge is a huge upgrade. Get your Ridge wallet at Ridge.com. Well done. Just warming up, 17 or 15. Let's look at the scorecard. Few starts, Gunatilaka very unfortunate in the first over, then few starts for Mendis and Hafez not going on. Wabrias is back. Hold a solitary over, went for a few runs. 13 in the first over. And so am I. I'm back too, Roshan. H.D. Ackerman joining you in commentary. Tears of joy. Lovely to be sitting between the two of you. <laughs> what, what entertainment. Partnership gradually building. 36 of 27. They needed that after losing those two wickets. Extra pace. That's what you need against Banu Karaja Pats. Now Wahab Riyas can give you that. I just thought for a moment Tisara Pereira might have given Jaden Seals that third over because a wicket here really puts the Gold Gladiators on the back foot. Difficult for Wyatt Rios to, to bang it in though. We know he likes to bang it in, but with fine leg up in the circle, that would be very risky. Clever, very clever. One bounce for four. Fast bowlers would look to try and bowl back of a length to Bhanukaraja Paksa, would look to try and bowl straight and at his helmet or shoulder, but he was very good. Great improvisation. Just got inside the line. That ramp was brilliant. He does have good shots. He is killed, Bhanukaraja Paksa. And you'd, you'd like to think that he's worked on his weaknesses as well. We're talking about the short pitch delivery. We're talking about the extra pace. Nice, that's nicely picked away. Back to back boundaries. That's what you want from your captain. It's clever batting. Very smart batting. The ball before using the pace that Riaz has delivered to get it up and over the sort of gully region. This time, understanding that fine leg is up in the circle and just trying to get inside it to just flip it away. There is a deep square leg, but he's got no chance. Yeah, the fielder there. Tom Kola Kandamore. That's, that's Cadmore. You Tom Kola Kandamore. You have a lot of that for breakfast, don't you, Roshan? <laughs> As, <laughs> I would say anything. Lo looking at HD, I'm not going to say anything. 
Nicely played. This is quality batting from Banuka Rajapaksa. He's just simply carrying on, continuing his excellent form from the Abu Dhabi T10. Well, he's someone who can hurt you. We've seen him do that. And he's on display here, punishing anything loose. It's a great indication of how good this pitch is as well. Because that he's just guided and used the pace of Wabrias to get it behind point for four. Not quite that delivery, not quite ready. But this is real quality batting. They needed this as well. They needed the acceleration because things had become a little bit becalmed after the first six overs. 48 of 31, the partnership. Yes, that's four more. That brings up the 50 partnership. This is very, very good from Rajapaksa. But I don't think we can say the same about Wahab Riaz. Not great bowling. Really not great bowling. He's been hit for four consecutive boundaries. He's now gone for 29 and still we got an over. Short final again and uh, simply inexplicable. That line and length. He tried to bowl a slower ball bouncer there, though, because he's run his fingers down the side of the ball. But the problem is it's going down the leg side. It's short and it's helped on its way. Final ball of the over. He gets that through. That ends the 11th. 93 for three. Khan Karajapaksa. A treat out in the middle. Ball gladiators moving on. That's what they're playing for. Come away, Very come good. Away. Building's been pretty good. Prime Minister of Sri Lanka. Honourable Mahinda Rajapaksa and the Sports Minister. Long on weights, long on weights, takes it. One into Hasaranga, gets the breakthrough for the Jaffna Kings. His 100th wicket, and that's what he's there for. He's a wicket taker. And once again in his second over, Dunk was looking, looking to threaten, he was looking to take the bowling apart. And Vani Hasaranga rises to the occasion. Hands like buckets, Tisera Pereira. Ben Dunk, 17 of 17. The Gladiators are 93 for four. Samit Patel is the new batsman, will be on strike, lots and lots of experience there. One into Hasaranga, that was his 100th T20 wicket, the fastest Sri Lankan to get to that uh, landmark. Ben Dunks just looking at every single delivery that he's faced for six. Sometimes he comes off, sometimes he doesn't. Tonight, not his night. Holds out. Now mind you, these are big boundaries. Playing somewhat to the centre of the pitch. 
It will be a good 70 meter hit in every angle. Rajapaksa, he's in the middle though. Mentioned uh, Prime Minister of Sri Lanka and also the Sports Minister. Oh, Hamad. That's high, that's high. Oh dear, gets just enough. Takes on the deep mid wicket field. Avishka Fernando, we thought he'd had it. But he goes over and brings up the 100 for the goal gladiators. Yeah, for a moment it looked safe. Avishka Fernando appeared to be really stationing himself under the ball. And caught the feeling that uh, he had got both hands to it. Worth taking another look. Banuka Rajapaksa, another mighty blow. We're talking about how big the boundaries are. It's 100 for four. All felt pressured into buying a store's overpriced electronics warranty. Upsi offers affordable and reliable warranties for all your electronics and appliances. Visit Upsi.com today. Over balance, and in doing that, he's actually just put the ball down, dropped the catch. General Shavindra Silva, correction.